afternoon and welcome to the Environmental Show. This is your host, Iris, and today we are here with the synthetic team who will be giving us more insight on microfibers and the impact it has on ocean life. Nice to meet you, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. It seems that microfibers isn't a very commonly discussed topic. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourselves? Why, of course! We are the synthetic fiber group and we are the producers of microfibers. Microfibers are teeny tiny plastics that are about five millimeters long. See, this is what they look like. For us to shed microfibers, we first must be worn by humans, like you. And once we get dirty, humans will wash us in their washing machines. And while we're in the washing machine, we shed off our microfibers from the friction of the soap and movement in the machine. And once the microfibers are in the ocean, they provide a food source for the marine life. We discard tens of thousands of microfibers per wash. Isn't that great? Wow, I had no idea that the synthetic team could help fish so much. Stop right there, you sinister fibers. I know the truth about microfibers. Huh? Who are you? I thought it was just us being interviewed. I am a jacket, but unlike these other jackets, I don't shed a dangerous fiber that harms the ocean life. I am well known as an environmentally friendly material, gossipium, but I guess you could call me Cotton for short. Well, it's nice to have you on the show with us, Cotton. Can you tell us a little bit more about your side of microfibers? Now, I could just tell you, but why don't I wrap it to you? Let me tell you a little tale about microfibers. We all wear clothes and we put them in the wash, sweating out of stuff, acting real, real posh. Round and round the washing machine goes, but what it leaves, nobody knows. A tiny hair like plastic fiber, telling fish to eat them, a talented briber. Fleece, acrylic, nylon polyester, you think it's funny, just like a jester. All these fabrics are made of plastic, for that I'm not enthusiastic. Washing machine, make them shed, away into the pipes they fled. Waste. Water, treatment plants, filter water for things like ants. But something that their filters can't stop. Microfibers, because they're smaller than a raindrop. Into the ocean they go, bringing pestilence and plague to and fro. First, the smaller fish eat it all, sending their numbers into a fall. Bigger fish can't resist to take a bite. Then we fish them up to our utmost fright. These fibers always messing up the food chain. Leave fish lovers' hearts in vain. The bigger fish end up in our plates. Absolutely destroying our faith. Plastics now swim inside us. We contract disease. That's not a plus. If these creatures don't get fished by us, they all die off. We need to discuss. Scientists predicting by 2050 will have more plastic than fish in the sea. So watch out y'all what you put in the wash. Or there ain't gonna be no fish to splash. Word! Wow, I had no idea how much damage microfibers can do to our oceans. But that doesn't this mean that we can't be worn again? Not necessarily. It just means that you shouldn't be washed so many times when it's not needed. But wait, what about the solution to this whole problem? Uh... Not to fear, Superhero Silk and my trusty sidekick Wolf are here with some handy dandy solutions. Tell all your humans to wash their clothes at lower speeds and cooler temperatures as this reduces the amount of microfiber shed. Raising awareness is also a solution as not many people are aware of how simple actions such as washing clothes can cause so much damage. It is important for people to understand the effects microfibers can do to our oceans so we can work together to fix it. There are also some researchers, such as Dr. Rachel Miller from the Rosalia Project, who have come up with some microfiber catchers or filters that prevent the microfibers from flowing into your wastewater treatment plants. Wastewater what now? Wastewater treatment plants is where all your water from your sinks, toilets, showers, washing machines go to be purified before getting dumped into the ocean. Did you hear that, humans? You have to wash us with cooler temperatures and slower speeds for us to shed a less amount of microfibers. Well, that was a great show tonight. This is Iris, signing off.